Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, sent social media into meltdown last night as she showed off her moves on the dance floor. Prince Edward's wife Sophie Wessex followed in the footsteps of Strictly Come Dancing stars as she danced the waltz in the Blackpool Tower Ballroom. The ballroom hosts one episode of the famous BBC's dancing competition, of which Sophie is a huge fan. Footage shared by Buckingham Palace showed the 54-year-old countess on the sideline of the ballroom. After nodding at her dancing partner, she joined other couples near the dance floor. The palace wrote, It was an exciting moment inside the tower ballroom as the Countess of Wessex stepped onto the dance floor to showcase her moves. HRH danced the waltz, alongside couples who regularly take part in lessons at the ballroom. The video was welcomed by adoring royal fans cheering for fabulous Sophie. One wrote, How fabulous the Countess of Wessex is! Such a diverse mix of royal engagements and always ready to take part. Love her. Another Twitter user praised the bravery of the Countess, saying, Good on her, it must have taken some real guts and gusto to do that, especially if everyone else was a seasoned dancer. And a third added, HRH is the best she is so lovely and so down to earth. Sophie headed to the iconic Blackpool's landmark on Tuesday, when she also visited Seaside Town's Grand Theatre to mark their 125th anniversaries. The Countess' love for dancing was revealed last year, when she was spotted in the audience of Strictly with her daughter Lady Louise. Presenter Tess Daly later said the visit was a birthday treat for Louise, who just turned 15. Ms. Daly told Hello! Magazine, Lady Louise was celebrating turning 15 and she said it was a treat to come and visit the show. She's a big fan, herself and her mother. They enjoyed all the action from the front row and they had a great night. It was great to welcome them. Sophie is not the only royal that has been spotted on a dance floor in the past weeks. Last month, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, took a swirl with professional ballroom dancer Len Goodman as she was celebrating the 90th anniversary of the British Dance Council. During an impromptu speech, Camilla said, I have had the pleasure to dance with Craig and now with Len, so I feel very honored, thank you very much indeed. Camilla, M's Daily added, is also an avid spectator of BBC's Strictly, and so is Prince Charles. The presenter said, Camilla told me that herself and Charles enjoy watching the show on more than one occasion. She's been down to visit the set. She loves the show. It was wonderful, she sat on the judging panel, held a pen and a paddle and got involved. She met all the crew. It's an honor having royal fans amongst our viewers. Sophie, Countess of Wessex married Prince Edward in 1999, but a royal expert has now revealed the two almost split because the Queen's son got cold feet. Sophie, Countess of Wessex met Prince Edward in 1987, when he was dating her friend. The two met again at a tennis charity event in 1993, and began a relationship soon afterwards. But just a year into their romance, the couple almost split, a royal expert has revealed. In royal author Ingrid Seward's book Prince Edward, from 1995, she revealed Sophie and Edward came precariously close to breaking up. According to M. Seward, Sophie, who was born a commoner, struggled to adjust to life as a royal. She wrote, Like all couples there were moments when the effort of adjusting led to rows and disagreements and, in the summer of 1994, they came precariously close to parting. M. Seward further wrote just a year after they met, the prince, who is the youngest son of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, got cold feet. She added, Edward became what one friend described as unnerved by the speed which the affair was developing. But if Edward was racked by indecision, a not uncommon problem amongst male members of his family, Sophie remained coolly determined. She was not prepared to let their relationship flounder. When rumors of the rift became public she dismissed them as rubbish. She was being elastic with the truth, but it did give her the breathing space she needed to get her relationship back on track again. By Christmas time in 1994, everything was back on track in the relationship. Sophie and Prince Edward announced their engagement a few years later on January 6, 1999. 
Edward proposed with an engagement ring featuring a two-carat oval diamond made by Asprey and Gerard, worth £105,000. The wedding took place on June 19 the same year at St George's Chapel in Windsor. In 2003, Sophie and Edward welcomed their first child, Lady Louise Windsor. On December 17, 2007, James, Viscount Severn was born. In June 2019, Sophie and Prince Edward celebrated 20 years of marriage.